located at Petra Island. We are one hour from New York City and we're gonna go take a look at this incredible Frank Lloyd Wright inspired home. This property offers 12 acres on its own private island, a main house, a guest house, seven bedrooms, three and a half baths, and over 8,000 square feet of living space. All of this is on the market right now for $12.9 million. Oh, it is a gorgeous day out here on the lake. Right now we're on Lake Mayapak. This is an absolutely stunning 400 plus acre lake that's all spring fed, crystal clear. But of course, if we wanted to, we could also come to the island by helicopter because this does come with its own helipad. Welcome to Petra Island. We have our beach on the far side, plus our beautiful old growth forest dated back to the 1600s. The original family that owned the island commissioned Frank Lloyd Wright in 1949 to design the main house behind me. But they gave him a little bit of a story saying, oh, the town won't allow us to build that. Can you just make a small little cottage? We'll get approvals on that and then we'll build the big one. Well, of course, Frank Lloyd Wright complied and built the beautiful cottage. But these owners never had any intention on building the main house. And only later on, when the present owner purchased the property, did he discover these original plans and then became absolutely inspired to build this house exactly as Frank Lloyd Wright envisioned. Come inside and take a look. This is what Frank Lloyd Wright loves, that modest entrance and you come in and now you have this amazing expansive room. So this rock here was actually the starting point for the plants and there was a notch in here which they used. And then they used the grid on the floor and that's how they placed the house exactly as it was intended to be. It's such an important piece of the house and also that piece of nature that Frank just loves. We have our poured concrete, which looks a little deceptive. Some people think it's actually wood. Oftentimes the ceilings are much lower, but in here we have incredible expanse. This also brings us out here. Here is our western facing covered porch. We're looking down at this fabulous rock that's part of that boulder that came from the other room. It is so cozy to come out here and read, to watch a thunderstorm tucked underneath here, or maybe in the evening with the western sky enjoying the sunset, you can come out here and just enjoy a glass of wine. Let's take a look at the kitchen. We have the rock showing up with the counter space worked in. Parts of it were chiseled out. They just really found a way to incorporate it in here and make it feel part of the natural environment. And again, those skylights up above. When this was designed in the 50s, the kitchen was considered the workspace, not necessarily the luxury space that we now enjoy today. Frank really wanted people to live in his common areas. So we should go take a look at the dining room. It really is created to be a room within a room. You can see the beautiful cherry wood table is a very unique design. And you can imagine the conversations going on, you know, a group down there and a group here. And it just creates that incredible intimacy. The ceiling is down a little bit lower. You have one of the six fireplaces in here to make it cozy in the winter, all the built-in shelving. All of this furniture was custom built in Connecticut exactly to what Frank Lloyd Wright had actually drawn into the plans. Also, in the summer, it's absolutely amazing because we're going to lead back out to another patio and this is south facing so it's beautiful afternoon sun all day long. Let's go take a look at the library where you may spend some time after dinner. 
this room has got some amazing history to it. It's kind of overwhelming, but delightful. Again, the furniture built in exactly to design. Even our little custom-made lights are absolutely done on point and in style to complement the rest of the house. The mural was reproduced locally after the homeowner found it in a book and just wanted to add that piece of art to the house. So it transitions kind of perfectly down here to our TV area. So let's come take a look at this. This area here was a little bit of a mystery. In these original plans, they couldn't figure out why the angle for this whole area was different than any other area in the house. It was a little while later that they're sitting here watching TV and they realize that the sun reflects over on the other side and it completely eliminates any reflection on the screen because Frank Lloyd Wright himself was a big fan of watching movies at home. And on another note, this whole cabinet closes right up and you would never know that there's any modern technology behind here. The living room is amazing. It feels as though you're on the bow of a ship. You're looking out, you're surrounded by the lake on two sides, the sky, the water, all of the built-in furniture. It can fit like a gazillion people. It's just so peaceful in here. You ready? Let's go outside. We're here, completely surrounded. This deck is absolutely cantilevered out over the lake. So we're completely suspended out 30 feet and up about 25 feet. This is a deep water area right here, perfect for fishing. The light is always the best out here. You're just absolutely perched, sitting on the water. It's just delightful. The master bedroom just incorporates all of the elements. We have our walls and windows, the water outside, so much of the stone walls in here, and again, all harvested from the island, our mahogany wood. It just is so amazingly cozy and intimate all at the same time. Take a look at these. They're the original drawings that were discovered in the, uh, the whole mystery of building the house. All of the bedrooms feel so cozy like state rooms and they all have a different view of the lake. Your built-in furniture, your rock walls. It's so cozy, it just feels like it could be rocked to sleep in here. Now that we've seen the main house, let's go take a look at the original cottage built in 1949. The cottage was built by Frank Lloyd Wright. This is an absolute original, signed off and inspected by Frank Lloyd Wright. The original owners were a little bit uh, devious. They really just wanted the small house, not the big house. So this is really all that they wanted to have built. And it's an absolutely adorable three bedroom, one bath with the fireplace and a kitchenette. It's quoted that Frank Lloyd Wright imagined this property to be his greatest masterpiece. He expected this to surpass falling water and to be the most prestigious lakefront property that he ever created. With its own private beach, seven bedrooms, three and a half baths, and over 8,000 square feet of living space. 12 acres, one hour from New York City, or a quick helicopter ride, and all of this could be yours for just $12.9 million.